Uh, this is to inform my followers, my readers, uh, people involved in this genocide, witnesses of the crime that took place, ordeal that deprived me of 29 years of life, which resulted in nothing other than in torture through the use of drugs, which American Central Intelligence Agency have implemented through abductions, hijackings, extra renditions on behalf of British and on behalf of Germans since 1995 for their geopolitical economic interests, global interests. The blog now no longer can be seen uh, because I don't think that you should follow this anymore. Uh, as for my posting media news here, I'm not allowed. Um, I really don't know what to go from here due to this interest I have received from the public foremost. Um, as you know, it wasn't about only blocking my review, uh, financial, economic, earnings, contribution. It used to be about blocking my video view counters. It used to be about blocking my block view counters. These numbers here that you see here, it's just right there. It doesn't say anything, but right here, this preview. This is right next to the number of the people that visit your website, this here. It used to be about this. It got worse. It's not longer that it would be like this. Uh, this is the most influential blog ever written in the history of the world. Is this blog that had over a billion views in what I estimate was, it's video recorded this stuff. Maybe 2017, maybe before, they eventually take took down all the pictures, everything from the internet, because this was spread throughout the entire internet, forums, websites, all, all sorts of anything you possibly imagine. And what they did was they, they absolutely censored, they removed everything. They censored, they removed absolutely everything about it. And it finally came to degree, for which I was told in 2019 by Prince Harry, who stated me, we'll probably have to remove your blog, and that's because we have done too much crime to you. It might result in our removing your blog entirely from the internet, because we did too much shit. We did too much shit. A torture between a torture session between Prince Charles and between Joe Biden had in it with Charles harassing over and over again on how there's nothing I can do. That there will be nothing I can do, there will be nothing I can do, there will be nothing I ever will, will accomplish. But pointing me out exactly what I stated. Prince Harry indicated that simply my blog is going to be moved out from the internet on what Joe Biden was used in front of Prince Charles, now King Charles, who however insisted me that this will be done for me to publish media throughout the forums so that people would download from posted links my blog, entire blog, which I, I ungoingly have posted abilities, ability for people to download one. 
um, and then free of charge post one on the internet whatever that will be of interest uh, to the people now at this point the blog is still on uh, I however am heavily disturbed after 29 years without income completely detached from reality from the world from life uh, I have faced exactly what I stated right here and that means my having a personal editor editors CIA editors central intelligence editors people that did not delete the blog but are engaging in yet worse activities what they do is they just unpublish whatever is of no interest to them and are trying to demonstrate to the audience to the public whatever whichever way they are they would like to portray me is what i have noticed you can't you can't see it's right there it's hidden that's the button which you use to publish to either publish or revert to draft whatever is published and then if you would again have ability to turn that to publish the content again that's taken away from me it's not a draft it's my not having the right to republish the content the content that's being taken down according to what Google blogger owners of Google uh, claim is due to community guidelines they however do not give they did not give any kind of explanations or anything any explanation anything whatsoever um, these are gods that did not communicate but through the cowardly abductions interrogations beatings torture and this is the reality i'm faced with after 29 years of mk ultra torture and obviously that a blogger no longer is a platform that will portray me in any way obviously that we have here um totally out of touch unseen anywhere before reality which however was protected a crime itself a genocide was protected by united nations by the mother of all human rights organizations that's united nations since 1995 when all this commenced abductions it was united nations it were all was done under the protectorate of united nations all other amnesty international uh and, and then it breaks down to european court for human rights interpol international police association well you name it they all participated the heads and their human rights investigators people that decide about complaints they literally participated in torture in other words they tortured they discouraged and more than anything they haven't seen they refuse to acknowledge basically to know about what you see here is going on so this is just to let you know that if you did follow my blog if you are acquainted with it uh it really means nothing due to a simple fact i no longer can go on like this this isn't about restricting me from any kind of income which equal to less than probably four thousand dollars including the social security uh, sorry social assistance support since 2006 do you do you understand what i'm saying 
during the last 17 years, I was told that if I would go and apply for one, I would be thrown inside a psychiatric hospital, literally. I was hospitalized in 2013. So for just approaching to a social institution to apply for support, this is what this would result. Or I should say resolved in. This is the situation that after 11 and a half years of torture, I endured when hijacked repeatedly from United States of America to Slovenia. And it was the first time I appeared in Slovenia and reported myself to a workforce, local state employment agency. It was the police cars that awaited me outside while having a state employee throwing insults at me. Not only about how I am a nobody and nothing, but that I don't even have the right to report myself as a job seeker, as a job searcher. Now, these are very, very, I don't think it can be more critical and more serious than this. In 2017, Prince Charles, now King Charles, foretold, I don't know the proper expression, uh, but based on research that was done, since the human experimentation, cancer-based human experimentation, to, was taking place since 1995, in 2017, Charles came to conclusion with his physicians that based on my food preferences, which not through the social assistance, but through whatever will be placed, by my parents inside of the fridge, I will probably be dead about six months prior to the end of this ordeal, before this case would become even known. In other words, he told me that MK Ultra, the main word for MK Ultra is not really my MK Ultra, this is just a torture, uh, which those that torture. I'm not going to say those that are in control, because it's obviously the state, the country, in this case, British, Germans, Americans are using Slovenia to enforce a genocide against me. And it did start on behalf of Slovenia. It did start on behalf of Moscow. It did start on behalf of Belgrade. But it became increasingly embarrassing for United States of America, for the so-called Great Britain, Germany, so much that these people all together are getting enforced this literally through the state. They got enforced that through the state in Poland, which mentioned countries have bought in Czech Republic and Slovakia and wherever I went with, a, with hope to establish for myself new life in more than a dozen countries throughout Europe and Northern America is where my attempt to even file for political asylum was blocked. So this is a 29-year-old struggle that is literally involved through timing. So this here, this is just to explain you who was behind it all, who is behind it all, and why it doesn't make no longer sense for me to publish on here. It makes no, no sense because the editors, those that edit, those are from the lines of Central Intelligence Agency. Those are the people that hijacked, that tortured. It is traced straight to the White House, to the American White House. Owners of Google, owners of Blogger, and so on and so forth. And protected. The crime is under the protectorate protection of United Nations since 1995 mentioned governments got protection for genocide against me from United Nations directly which is also organization human rights organization that guides other human rights organizations if you, in case you didn't know, that is the main, the number one organization, human rights organization. If you didn't get 
through United Nations, your protection, chances you would get anywhere else don't even exist. If you got one through United Nations, know that uh, through other agency, know that it is United Nations officials that review one either way. It says that's basically the way it works. They all work coordinated with all these Norwegian human rights agencies and so on. This is basically how they enforce. And so the truth is so disgusting that there is really nothing else for the people who only entered my life through the nightmare, allegedly from hijacking, through drugging me up, through the hijackings, never dare to appear to me in real life. It's what the United Nations made possible. Disregarding every law, every every agreement, every treaty, post-World War II a treaty. That's all I want to say. Uh, I don't know exactly what am I going to do. People from the United Nations know about this, as I stated, since 1995. And uh, it's so far exactly what you see here. With me, tremendously a lot was done. And from the people that should do job, even more was done in a sense of torture, direct involvement in torture, and in a sense of uh, ignoring my complaints, even allowing, as it took place in 2007, a brand new tires I purchased on a car that had like 20,000 miles imported from the United States to have tires replaced with all worn out tires, with garbage tires, what almost costed me life. The incidents, too many to count, with exactly zero response from anyone. That's all I have to say. Today is January 19, 2023. I am not going to say thanks for watching this. For obvious reason, I got nothing to thank you for. You see this red marks here? It says hidden. It's not draft. It says here draft, but it's not draft. It's actually it's hidden. And that you made that possible. Next to this human rights agencies I mentioned. See this? This is what it what this is what they're doing. It's published, whatever doesn't bother them. It's the reality they do like to portray the way they want. This is what they want. They want to create German, British, Kaburk, Sachs, Kaburk, Gotha reality. You know who Sachs, Kaburk, Gotha are. This is what this is. I am not going to go and count how many they have unpublished, but this doesn't look good, right? You have to agree with me that while they had some left, there are many that are not left. This is pathetic. Truly is pathetic. Why? Because of the true. And the community is who? Till I find another solution, I am not going to be publishing here. I'm going to be losing no time. This is how it all ends here.